my name's Katie and welcome to this unboxing clothes that I'd forgotten I owned video. I have a treat in store for you today. A couple of weeks ago I was looking through my shed for something and I found a bag full of clothes that I'd forgotten I owned. A really big bag. So uh, I looked in the top and I realized they were clothes I didn't recognize. Um, they didn't belong to husband and they didn't belong to the cat. Uh, so I figured they must have been mine. So I thought I'd save this special moment to share with you guys and see what's in the bag. So let's have a look. So this bag of clothes has been lying around for probably at least nine to ten years. Uh, we moved into our house nine years ago and this was amongst the stuff that we put in the shed straight away and haven't looked at since and I, I cannot remember what's in it for the life of me and in fact it's so old that the handles just immediately tore off as soon as I tried to pick it up so it should be interesting now I don't know if any of the clothes will fit we'll find out if any of them fit I'll, I'll show you a uh, little lookbook over here and there's a lot in here as well. I could barely lift it when I picked it up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's a t-shirt. What a cute design. Look at that. Oh, and it's in that, that grey marl that was popular 10, 15 years ago. Remember that? Um, it might still fit. Let's find out. I think I'll make up a few piles to sort the clothes into to save myself some time. So this will be the start of the to try on pile. Next is, oh wow, <laughs> this is a t-shirt that I upcycled, I remember this. This this was actually a bag that um, I, I adored, I remember this now, um, um, but the bag fell apart and so I took the motif from it and uh, upcycled it into a t-shirt. What a cute kitty, it's got like sequins. That's exciting. So hopefully this still fits, I'll try it on. Next is, oh. Oh, this is probably something I would have worn to work. Oh, I remember like in the mid 2000s when this kind of pussy bow tie style was in fashion. Uh, I actually think it's coming back in. I think I saw someone wearing something like this the other week. And this pattern is divine. I adore it. But I don't think it's going to fit. I wouldn't want to try and upcycle this because it's already so nice. I think it needs to go to someone who is going to wear it and love it. Uh, so I'll put this in the donate pile. Okay, next. Oh, this is a top. Oh, I don't remember this at all. Uh, okay, I mean, I'm obsessed with lace, so I probably bought it because of the lace on it. And the brown is a very Maury K type style. Maybe I can alter it. I don't think it's going to fit, but um, I'll try it on and I might be able to alter it. So I'll put in the... Maybe I should start a separate pile for things that I know aren't going to fit, but maybe I can do something with. Is that too long a name? I don't know, but I'll put it in a separate pile. Next is... Oh, this top. I do remember this top. I think I only wore it once. It has this really cool kind of semi-transparent pattern. Um, I don't think this is going to fit, but uh, you never know. I'll put it in the try-on pile. Next up. Oh, plastic bag. Something. Oh, a couple of things that um, I never even took out of the packaging. So, let's see. Oh, this is lovely. It could be like, it could go really well in a kind of... Um, Maury inspired outfit. It's not, it's way too small. It's definitely, wait, it's definitely, why did I buy this? Maybe I liked the pattern. I think I could probably turn this into like an overshirt, which I think would look really cool. You know, layered Maury uh, ac uh librarian academic core outfit. So I'm going to put this on the, um, probably to alter pile. This top is really cute. Um, the tag's still on it. It's called, the brand is Sweet Small Evil. That's so cute. I don't know why I bought this. I mean, it's clearly would never have fitted me in my entire life. Maybe I was going to upcycle it into a larger size t-shirt. But this, oh, this is actually an applique. Look, it's sewn on. I like that detail. Yeah, so I'm going to see if I can upcycle slash upsize it. Next is... Oh, wow. Oh. Yes, okay. This was, this is a, this is a tablecloth. But look at the pattern. It's 
It's divine. And it's got this tassel on it. I was going to make this into a skirt. I don't know how, but I'll work it out. It could be a good food for an, another video in the future. If you'd like to see that, let me know. I'll pop this in the um, something pile. We're like a quarter of the way in, I think. Next is... Oh my god, my monkey t-shirt. Oh, I bought this plain t-shirt and I put the monkey decal on. And then um, it, uh, due to some unforeseen issues, it became too small. So I'm going to see if I can try and either... I mean, look at the whole t-shirt, it's amazing. Look, you've got this stripe detail, the neckline in this contrasting colour. It's pink, how can you go wrong? So I'm going to see if I can try and uh, upsize this one. Because monkey... Right? Next. Oh, this seems to be a pyjama top. But like in the past, I've been known for just wearing pyjamas as day clothes and vice versa without really caring. Because, especially in large sizes, like pyjamas are so much cuter. You know, they come in pastel colours, they often have lace, cute motifs. I don't know if I was a pioneer of pyjamas as day wear, but I think everyone's starting to not care and just rock that now and I completely embrace it. I think maybe the long sleeves put me off. I don't really like wearing long sleeves even in winter because I just get too hot. But uh, I'll try it on and see what the go is and <clears throat> yeah, we'll see. Oh my gosh, what's this? Is it a dress? It's a whole dress! What's this doing in here? <gasps> it's beautiful! I do remember this dress. Um, I remember I had to go to a couple of weddings and I bought two dresses and this one of them's hanging in the wardrobe and for some reason this one got put away. Maybe there was something wrong with the fit. To be honest, black is not really my favourite colour, although having said that, look, I'm wearing a top that's almost exactly the same kind of print. These flowers are really gorgeous and spring-like, so I mean I probably would wear this to a special occasion. Uh, so I'm going to try it on and see if it still fits. Oh. oh, this is an Emmy dress. Emmy was the brand I loved and then I think they shut up shop and I was really upset. This dress is gorgeous but I don't think it's going to fit anymore so I'll try it on but it may need to go to someone who's going to wear it and love it even more. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's like a, a pinafore thing. I got this from the op shop, I remember. Um, or or tie style dress and then it has this like overlayer here that's really sweet it's very old I mean in a good way this isn't gonna fit me anymore I don't think but I, I'll have to have a think about it of whether I'm gonna donate it or try and turn it into something else oh what's this a top beautiful look at that it has these nice kind of balloony sleeves with with ties on them. I think this should probably fit me. Why have I not been wearing it all these years? All it needs is an iron and I think it'll be perfect. Oh, it's got pockets. People, it has a pocket. Okay, this is going on the I'm very excited about this pile. <laughs> what is in here? Okay, a pair of pants and I can hear... The elastic's gone. I can hear that crunchy. Can you hear the, the crunching noise of dead elastic? Um, and I don't know if these will fit anymore, but um, I'll try and then uh, maybe I'll have some new home pants. That'll be nice. Hmm. Oh. Here's a pair of pants in this beautiful kind of brocade heart uh, fabric. Look how beautiful that is. Uh, but I'm pretty sure they don't fit. That's probably why they're in there. Oh, the tag's still on them. <gasps> oh, these poor pants. They've been sitting here for 10, 15 years. Who knows? Um, I think they're probably going to be slightly too small. But um, I'll try them on and find out. Oh, look at these pants. Look at that pattern. Oh, that's... I like that. Unfortunately, um, I already know they're too small. Maybe I can upsize them somehow. pair of jeans with the tag still on uh, oh these are from H&M um, why did I buy these they're clearly too small hmm. I'll put these aside to see if I can somehow upsize them 
gonna have a lot of work to do if I try and upsize all of these but oh I made this myself oh look at this cute skirt a tear skirt remember when tear skirts were in fashion I think they're coming back into fashion actually uh, which is slightly embarrassing I think this ended up being too small after a while sadly but I'll, I'll try and do something with it here are uh, two skirts in the same style uh, which is a sort of A-line skirt that I used to wear all the time. It was like sort of my, I wouldn't say I had a signature style, but I wore them all the time. They're going to be too small now, sadly, but maybe I can turn them into an elastic waist. Have you ever had a piece of clothing and you wore it so often that the pattern just became so familiar to you? Like, a, almost like rereading your favourite childhood book or eating comfort food, just looking at the pattern makes you feel the same way. Oh, a pair of shorts. So these were pants and then I've already upcycled them. Well, I wouldn't say I made them better. Upcycling implies that you made them better, but not sure about that. But um, they were full length pants and then I cut them off and I dyed them. So they used to be like a white and pink stripe. And I don't know why I made them a darker colour, but there you go. I was just mucking around with dyes at the time. Not sure if they're going to fit, but I'll try them on. Oh, I remember this jacket now. I bought this from the op shop. It's like an army. It already had this awesome kind of wear on the back, which you probably can't see it, but it has these little kind of wear patterns in it. Even when I bought it, it was a bit too tight. I feel like this is a prime candidate for just like taking out all my punk urges on. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, how pretty is this? Look at that. I don't remember ever wearing that. In fact, I don't remember even buying it. But it's from Holy Clothing, which is an amazing store if you're into forest core, fairy core, Maury K, cottage core, all those more kind of fantasy inspired styles. And they go up to like a 6XL, so they're awesome. Not sponsored. I'm just telling you they're good and I'll link them below. <laughs> Why did I never wear this? Maybe I was just uh, wanting to indulge in my elfy fantasies and never did. But yeah, I'm going to bring this out. This would be great for lots of things. <laughs> but yeah, I think all this needs is an iron and then it's ready to go. Ah, uh, here's a skirt that I made. Oh, the elastic's died. Hear that? This is a skirt that I made. I remember now. I actually bought a from the op shop I bought a dress that someone else had handmade and had never finished. Uh, but the dress was too small for me but I chopped off the bottom and turned it into a skirt and I wore it a couple of times but I found it to be too short. Back then I was too shy to show my knees but I am trying to work on that. It just needs the elastic replacing and then I mean I could even use it as like an overlayer in a Mori outfit with um with a, an underskirt underneath so I think that's gonna be really good look at that such a cute pattern a pair of black pants the button came off and I never fixed it all it took was like two minutes of work and I never did it and it's been sitting in, in the bag for 10 years um, when I used to work in an office I used to wear black pants every day and so I developed quite a collection of them and also ones that didn't fit uh, needed repairing etc. So I've put them all aside and I'm gonna see if I can try and do something interesting with them So watch out for that in a future video. Oh Wow, look at that. How pretty is that? It's a tank top. I would say this is from the early 2000s There was a time a time that I miss very much when clothes were a lot more embellished than they are now I was really sad when the minimalism trend came in and all that disappeared from clothing, but look this is this is gorgeous it's, won't, it won't fit, but um, uh, I'd love to see if I can do something with this top. So just a tank top, um, cute colours though, nice stripes. I don't know why it was in the bag. It's cute. I can feel we're near the bottom now. Ooh, black and white stripes. Oh, this is a, some kind of short sleeved cardigan uh, with black and white stripes. It's got a nice roll collar. I mean, I could, I could wear this. I don't know why I didn't wear it. I think I didn't like the black and white straps. But, you know, I might try dyeing it and see if that makes it more fun. And, uh, and, uh, this is the last item. All right. Oh, I made this myself too. It's another tiered skirt. Again, 
dead elastic. Uh, not sure if it'll fit now. I was clearly into this knee length tiered skirt moment uh, back in the day when I used to sew a lot. I don't think it'll fit anymore but maybe I can again do something with it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it was a bit of a journey down memory lane for me so thank you for indulging me in that. I do hope you'll like and subscribe. Either way it's okay. I think you're amazing and thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye! If you'd like to see that, like and subscribe and that. <laughs> Hair yeah, right. Closer. Hi. Little did you know that this whole time I've had my dinosaur companion here with me. They don't have a name yet, so if you can think of one, uh, let me know. And, well, you can name my pet. How's that? <laughs> okay, bye.